Well, hey guys, Dr. Whitney Bo here, board certified dermatologist, research scientist, and skincare brand founder. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Over the years, I've gotten hundreds of my patients ready for really big events, including things like the Met Gala, the Oscars, New York Fashion Week, but I've also gotten patients ready for things like weddings, reunions, graduations. So regardless of what event you have coming up, this is gonna be your step-by-step -step guide, and I'm gonna include both in-office procedures as well as at-home products, skincare, tips, things that you can do right at home to get your skin ready and glowing for the big day. So if you like this kind of content from somebody who wears multiple hats uh, the way that I do, then please do subscribe so you can follow along for more. Let's dive in. Okay, so first, if you're seriously considering any lasers, fillers, or Botox treatments in the office, then I would say to start having those conversations with your dermatologist at least three to six months out from the event. So let's start with lasers. So, you know, lasers, I use a lot of lasers in my practice, but you really have to start thinking about doing that months in advance because it usually takes a series of treatments in order to see a pretty dramatic result. Now, not everybody's gonna need a laser treatment. In fact, need is a very strong word. So why would we choose a resurfacing laser over doing just skincare at home? You can get more dramatic results and you can see the results more quickly. So if budget allows, if it's something that you're interested in, then definitely start having those conversations early. For example, I'll list a bunch of my favorite lasers here and in-office devices that I like to use leading up to events with my patients. One of my favorites is the Fraxel laser, but a Fraxel laser, if you really wanna see a beautiful difference in brown spots, pore size, firming, tone, texture of the skin, really get that, that resurfacing glow, it's gonna take at least three treatments to see that result. And I usually space them about one month apart. So of course you can see how having these conversations sooner rather than later are gonna be beneficial. Now, Ulf Therapy is another device that I also use to help get my patients ready. And I love Ulf Therapy, especially when it comes to giving a little bit of a subtle lift to the lateral brow and, the, and droopy eyelids. It can be a really nice complement to injectables for that area. And I also like Ulf Therapy for some patients, especially in what we call the submental area. It can help to define the jawline a little bit for the right candidate. So here's my list. You can take a look at what I normally do, what devices I like to target what concerns, and those are things you wanna think about way in advance. Okay, so next, when it comes to fillers, I also like having a game plan well in advance. So some fillers, specifically Sculptra, can actually stimulate your skin's own production of collagen, similar to the way that we talked about with some of the resurfacing lasers. So that process itself takes time. So when I do Sculptra injections, you don't even really appreciate those results until three months later. And I love Sculptra when it comes to lifting, building that scaffold, you know, really firming, lifting, and tightening the skin. A combination of what filler I'm using and where I'm placing that filler, those two factors will actually play a role in how long those results last. And so you wanna think about which filler you're placing where and how long those results can last when you're coming up with that filler game plan. So I've listed that information here for you to help you with a, a few sort of generalized tips. Of course, there are exceptions to these rules. Okay, so when it comes to Botox or Dysport, and I love them both, you actually wanna start thinking about doing that last injection about a month before your big event. Now I'm saying last injection because you really don't wanna be doing it for the very, very first time right before a big event. So what I like to do the same way that if you're a bride and you're getting like a hair and makeup trial, like you don't wanna show up the day of the event, have somebody do, you know, an updo with a really strong red lip and blue eyeshadow and look in the mirror and be like, ooh, that's really not my look. It's the same thing when it comes to Botox or Dysport. Your injector needs to learn your anatomy and needs to learn your preferences. So what I like to do is I actually like to start with Botox or Dysport injections a few months out from the event so that we can see how it kicks in. 
I'll do a set of injections. I'll have the patient come back two to four weeks later when it's fully kicked in. And then I'll look at them and I actually make a map of every single injection point, where I'm placing, which muscle I'm placing it into and how many units I'm using. And then I'll assess the patient and I'll look at how they responded to that pattern. And then I'll make some adjustments or tweaks. Oh, you know what? They could use an extra unit here, an extra unit there. And then I come up with their plan. And their plan is ready so that about one month before their big event, when all of that Botox or Dysport wears off, we're gonna hit it again with that known plan of action so everything looks perfect. Now, the reason I say that you wanna get those, that last series of injections done about one month before the big day is because it can take about two weeks for that product to fully kick in. And so if something goes wrong, say you have a little bit of a peaked brow, a little bit of an asymmetry, I love leaving room for just a tiny tweak or tiny adjustment so if you do the treatment a month out and then you come back in two weeks, if you need a tiny little adjustment, you still have another two weeks for it to fully kick in and look perfect the day of the event. Okay, so now we're about six weeks out and that's when you wanna start thinking about your skincare. Now, when it comes to brightening dark spots and firming the skin, those results take time. They don't happen overnight, which is why you wanna start thinking about incorporating and cycling through your most powerful active ingredients at least six weeks out from a big event. But less is more, an effective skincare routine does not have to be complicated. Now, your two most powerful products gearing up for this event are gonna be an exfoliating serum and a retinoid. Now, when it comes to the exfoliating serum, that's gonna speed skin cell turnover. So it's gonna smooth out the skin texture so that your makeup just goes on flawlessly the night of the event. Now, if your exfoliating serum also has glycolic acid, 8% or higher, that can also help to firm up the skin if you use it far enough in advance. And a great exfoliating serum can also help with breakouts, pore size, and help you with dark spots and evening out skin tone. Now, a big mistake that I see a lot of people make is that they wait too late, they start using the exfoliating products right before the event and they go crazy, they over exfoliate. And that can lead to dry, blotchy, inflamed skin and your skin barriers screaming and saying, why did you do this? So that's the opposite of what we wanna happen when you have your big event and when my models and my beautiful A-listers are walking down the red carpet. So you really wanna start using that about six weeks out. Now, retinoids are the other most powerful product when it comes to really firming and tightening the skin, but it's also gonna help with pore size, it's gonna help with breakouts, it's gonna help with evening the hyperpigmentation, evening out the skin tone. So both with exfoliating products and with retinoids, I always talk to my patients about using both of those products on the face, the neck, the chest, tops of the hands, and then I also have a lot of patients who end up using them on the upper outer arms and even the area right above the knee in order to firm and smooth those areas depending on the cut of the dress and how much skin they're showing. Okay, so now for my favorite products, which is what I get asked about the most. So full transparency, guys, I'm, yes, I'm a dermatologist, I'm a published research scientist, but I'm also a brand founder. So of course, I've spent years perfecting my own formulations and you know really putting them to the test using these rigorous clinical testing protocols. So, you know, I'm I'm biased, right? I formulated products that I think are going to work the most effectively and I've tested them and proved them to do that, but I want to give you guys options and a fair and balanced outlook. So, I'm going to recommend a couple of different brands that I recommended even before I had my own product line. Okay, so when it comes to exfoliating serums, this is my Dr. Ubo Beauty Exfoliation Night Serum. Serum. This one is actually a blend of alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, and polyhydroxy acids. So the total blend is 12% acids, with 8% of that being the glycolic acid, which is the smallest and the most powerful form of AHA. And I specifically chose that blend of ingredients at those concentrations because I really wanted to drive those benefits in the skin. But 
as powerful as this is, it's also very gentle even on sensitive skin. We actually did extensive clinical studies, actually measuring changes in the skin, seeing those visible, measurable, statistically significant results, but 50% of the subjects in our clinical studies had sensitive skin. So if you have dry skin, sensitive skin, mature skin, and you're looking for an exfoliating product that's really gonna deliver, this is obviously my holy grail, my go-to. But if you have oily skin or acne prone skin, you can not only use an exfoliation serum, a blend, a powerful blend of acids on exfoliation night, but you might also be able to use a product with just salicylic acid every single day. Now, two of my favorite products for that are gonna be Paula's Choice 2% BHA, and then my friend and colleague, Dr. Josh Zeichner, he and his wife developed a product line called Jory, and they have a salicylic acid primer. So it sort of doubles as a primer and a leave on acne treatment for blemishes. And I have a lot of patients who can actually use those every single day and still cycle at night with that really powerful blend of exfoliating acids just on exfoliation night. Okay, so next up is retinoid. So if you're looking to firm and tighten the skin, but also help with things like breakouts and pores, etc., then I actually recommend going with a retinol or retinal or tretinoin over adapalene. So you guys might've heard of adapalene, uh, that comes, the brand name is different. That's a great retinoid if your main concern is acne and oily skin. Uh, however, if you're looking for more of the age-related benefits, I personally have seen better uh, changes and better results when I use a retinol, retinal, or prescription strength tretinoin. So one of my tried and true retinol over-the-counter treatments that I have been recommending to patients for years and still think is an excellent option is by SkinCeuticals. It actually comes in three different strengths. So with retinoids, you can level up, you know, as your skin adjusts, you can level up both in strength, but you can also level up in frequency. Now, if you're gearing up for a big event and you're new to a retinoid, I would start off using the retinoid, you know, just on night two of your skin cycling program. You know, I would start off a little slow build and recovery nights. And then if two weeks later your skin's doing well, you can gradually add an extra retinoid night but I wouldn't go crazy in the weeks leading up to the event because you don't want to have any surprise, you know, reactions or extra irritation from that retinoid. Now, another option is, of course, my, my product that I developed. This is Dr. Nubo Beauty Retinal Night. So this actually uses retinaldehyde, which is actually 10 times more bioavailable than retinol. So if you think of retinol like a cup of coffee, then retinal is going to be like a double shot of espresso, okay? It's, it's, you know, it's a little bit more powerful. A lot of people find that it actually works a little bit more quickly. So we actually formulated this one to be very, very gentle, you know, even on sensitive skin. So you use two pumps for the face, two pumps for the neck, and then two to four pumps to cover the entire chest. And that's about a, a pearl sized amount for the face, a pearl for the neck, and then two pearls for the chest. And then you rub that in and then you put your moisturizer on top. And again, this is a great type of product to use on the upper arms and the area above the knee. Now, tretinoin is a prescription strength retinoid that I can prescribe for my patients in the office. Now, if it's during the summer and you're new to retinoids or if you're, you're sort of leading up to a big event and you're new to retinoids, I wouldn't jump to tretinoin. You can think about tretinoin as being like an IV drip of caffeine going straight into your vein. So it's intense, right? That's a lot of caffeine, but some people just won't be able to tolerate it. And another thing to keep in mind at the six week mark leading out to the event is no saunas, steam rooms, or hot yoga if you're prone to hyperpigmentation because extreme heat can actually trigger hyperpigmentation or dark spots in some people. Three weeks out from the big event, you wanna think hydration, hydration, hydration from the inside out and the outside in. So it's not just about drinking lots of water, although of course that's a good thing. You also wanna add brightly colored fruits and vegetables into your diet. Those vivid colors are nature's way of telling you that those foods 
are rich in powerful antioxidants and polyphenols, which are excellent for skin health, for brightening the skin, and for the gut-skin connection. So I'm gonna put a list of different foods and beverages that are great sources of polyphenols here. And you can actually see that um, Lily Aldridge is a supermodel that I worked with leading up to the Met Gala this past year. And you can see her using my Bow Grow Elixir in her water, and that's sort of added insurance. It makes sure that you're getting all those polyphenols into your diet every day but you know just keep in mind any dietary supplement it's meant to supplement a healthy lifestyle so i always encourage you know adding these foods you know to your diet first as much as possible and then if you want to add a couple of you know dropper fulls of the bow grow elixir into your water your sparkling water your smoothie you know that's a great addition to just make sure that you're really getting you know that diverse beautiful blend of of plant-based polyphenols into your daily diet. Now, when it comes to hydrating the skin from the outside in, right around this point, you guys, you definitely wanna hydrate, right? You wanna use a daily moisturizer. Ideally, twice a day you wanna be moisturizing. You wanna build in recovery nights into your skin cycling program. Those are so important but you just wanna be careful about ingredients that might be a little too heavy or too occlusive for certain skin types. So I tell my patients, you wanna think twice about using ingredients like coconut oil, petroleum jelly, especially in the couple of weeks leading up to the event. Some people can tolerate it just fine, but in some people it's a little too heavy and they'll end up breaking out just in time for the event. Okay, so now we're one week out from the big event. This is the classic time that people start thinking about shaping their brows. If you're gonna make an appointment, for waxing or threading, you want to stop your retinoid a full week before that appointment because the retinoid can make your skin more sensitive and you can end up with red raw skin. So what else should you be doing one week out? Well, a silk pillowcase can be great for people who are prone to sleep lines or sleep creases. You might notice when you wake up, some people are prone to getting these, these lines, sometimes even in their decolletage or on one side of their face, that seems to sort of persist even even for hours after you wake up. Um, so using a silk pillowcase can definitely help with that. I like the brand Slip. That's an excellent option. They actually have some really impressive studies um, showing that it actually helps with the transfer of skincare products. So your skincare products that you use at night are staying on your face and not getting in the pillowcase. You really wanna think about prioritizing your sleep and managing your stress levels. So yoga, meditation, stress and poor sleep can show up in your skin, especially in the area around the eyes. So you really want to, to just do what you can in those days leading up to really try to just pamper and make sure that you're taking care of yourself and your stress levels. Okay, for those of you who are going to go for a spray tan or use self tanner in the day or two leading up to your big event, if you get that done or you use that product after that product has hit your skin, you don't wanna use exfoliating serums or retinoids after that because those products, again, are gonna speed skin cell turnover. They're gonna lift that tan right off the skin. Now the day of the big event, less is more guys. No exfoliating acids, no retinoids. You wanna flood the skin with moisture and hydration because you want the skin to just be that dewy, healthy canvas for your makeup. So I recommend starting with a hydrating serum and then following with a moisturizer. Okay guys, so you made it to the big event. So be sure to share this video with anyone that you know or love who's getting ready for a big day in their lives and be sure to like and subscribe so that you can follow me for more. All right, everybody, see you soon.